Here is Alex Cohen. Or not Alex Cohen, sorry. Here is I am Haralder, also known as Hallie. He tweets, nine day, dear at Elon Musk, uh, this was last night. He said, nine days ago, the access to my work computer was cut along with about 200 other Twitter employees. However, your head of HR is not able to confirm if I am an employee or not. You have not answered my emails. Maybe if enough people retweet, you'll answer me here. Elon Musk says, what work have you been doing? Hallie responds, I would need to break confidentiality to answer this question here. If you have your lawyers share in writing that I can do that, then I'd be happy to discuss that openly. Elon Musk says, it's approved. You go ahead. Hallie says, among others, I led the effort to save about $500,000 on one SAS uh, contract, supported closing down many others, led prioritization on design projects across the company to make sure we were able to deliver with the small team. I've led design crits to help level up design across the company was hiring managers for all design roles. He's Icelandic. Okay, he worked on... This guy, by the way, was Iceland's person of the year 2022. That's funny. Okay. And he said, led design crits, uh, worked on efforts to steer the company away from focusing on power users and to younger users because our user base is aging. Elon Musk responded, level up from what design to what? Pixar, it didn't happen. Bro, you are such a weirdo. Two, we haven't hired design roles in four months. Three, what changes did you make to help with the youths? And, uh, and then he tweeted this link. He said, would you say that you're a people person uh, and, and tweeted the office space link? What would you say you do here? And then Elon Musk said, the reality is that this guy who was independently wealthy did no actual work, claimed as his excuse that he had a disability that prevented him from typing, yet was simultaneously tweeting up a storm. Can't say I have a lot of respect for that. It's obvious he did all middle management work from that exchange, but I personally would not put an ex-employee on blast and force them to prove their worth in front of 100 million plus people. Elon said he has a, he has a prominent active Twitter account and is wealthy. So, what, so are you. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, he responded to that. He said, hi again, Elon Musk. Hope you are well. I'm fine too. I'm thankful for your interest in my health. But since you mentioned it, I wanted to give you more info. I have muscular dystrophy. It has many effects on my body. Let me tell you what they are. My legs were the first to go. When I was 25 years old, I started using a wheelchair. No, I'm not doing this voice because I'm uh, fucking making fun of his disability, you fucking idiots. I'm doing this voice because he's, Ice he's from Iceland. <laughs> you fucking idiots. I'm doing the Knut voice. Stop writing about statistical uh, reasons as to why being from Iceland might uh, be responsible for uh, you having a disability. That's really fucked up, chat. Yes, I know that there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, genetic purity in Iceland, so much so that they had to make an app to make sure that like the person you were going on a date with was not your cousin. Everything I'm saying is true. That is not what's going on here. Please stop. 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 Also, he's wealthy because Twitter bought his company. Anyway, we're going to get to that in a second.
Okay, in the interest of fairness, in early 2021, Geralder sold Ueno to Twitter in an agreement between him and Twitter. Most of the purchase price was paid as a salary to maximize the tax he would pay for the sale in Iceland. He chose to pay for tax out of respect to Iceland for the disability benefits he received. Per the agreement, he paid the second highest tax of an individual in Iceland in 2021. The most based motherfucker, dude. What a goat. What a fucking goat. Elon Musk, Iceland's enemy number one. Very nice. In March 2021. What? Austin's going to cancel you? He's doing the muscular dystrophy voice. Cancel him. Shut the fuck up, Austin Ox. Why are you saying that, you asshole? You know that that's not the case. In March 2021, Geraldo helped launch a project called Ramp Up Rajewick, a collaborative venture undertaken by local businesses, labor unions, government ministries, associations, banks, and city officials with the intention of helping local businesses install wheelchair ramps to improve accessibility for people with disabilities. Like, he went and fucking... He went and, like... I mean, you couldn't be a better person. You know what I mean? Yeah, year of PR is over for Austin Ox, it seems. It's been 20 years since that happened. In that time, the rest of my body has been failing me too. I need to help get in and out of bed and use the toilet. For a long time, I thought my arms would remain strong. A doctor told me they would. But they ended up losing strength, which I don't mind telling you was hard to accept. But you okay the cards you are dealt, and I've managed to create a wonderful life. My family is the best. I have two kids. I see them every day. I recommend that. My wife is fantastic, strong, kind, smart, amazing artist. About nine years ago, I started a company called UANO.co. I worked a lot, didn't do my body any favors, but it's what I felt needed to do. The hard work paid off and the company became very successful. We worked for more and less uh, every big tech company. He has a wife, so Elon hates him. Yeah, he has that on Elon for sure. But after seven years, I was tired. COVID was running for longer than two weeks. You said it would. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. And my body was also continuing to get weaker. After looking at many options, I decided to sell my company to Twitter. Financially, it wasn't the best decision. My company was making a lot of money, and Twitter's offer was lower than any smart valuation would say. But like you, I made a bet on Twitter having a lot more potential than it has had. I joined a company when the co when, uh, uh, in a time when the company was growing fast. There was a lot going on. The company had a fair... Oh, he had an emerald mine joke in there. We grew fast and made money. I think that's what you are referring to when you say independently wealthy, that I independently made my money as opposed to say I inherited an emerald mine. Oh my God, he's fucking roasting him so hard. Bro, what the fuck? This guy is awesome. Holy shit. This guy is just fucking literally rolling his wheelchair over Elon Musk's uh, carcass at this point. Jesus, Lord mercy. Holy fuck. Anyway, let's continue. But after seven years, I was tired. COVID was running for longer than the two weeks you said it would. Okay, it's hard to keep doing the accent. Uh, and my body was also continuing to get weaker. After looking at the many options, I decided to sell my company to Twitter. Uh, financially, wasn't the apologize for the accent. I will never apologize for doing the correct accent for Iceland, Norway, Denmark, pretty much any uh, any country that is, uh, I, I consider, uh, to be in that, uh, immediate, uh, vicinity. I'm not ableist. I'm just being xenophobic. It's not, it's out of love. It's also very good. Lama, when chatters don't recognize a unique accent, they immediately jump to the conclusion that you're trying to make fun of someone's non-existent existential disability and or disorder and rule you out as being ableist. Like, come on, chatter, your white is showing. There's variations. You got to nail them down, man. Okay. Let's continue. Huh. Anyway, I digress. Are you still reading or is the bathroom break over? What I was saying, what was I saying? Ah, yes. Oh, God. I, I don't like this part when people are like writing Twitter threads and then they like pause in between and shit. It's like, come on. Anyway, it's, it's just like, ugh. okay, it's icky. 
I wasn't in the first batch or the second or third or fourth. I'm not sure which layoff round I was in there. There were so many of them. Each one came after you promised the last one was the final one. During my time at New Twitter, or as 2.0 as you called it, I talked to my manager every week and asked what I should focus on. And then I proceeded to do those things, every one of them. I also contacted HR regularly and asked if my job description was correct or needed updating. I wanted to make sure I was doing what I was supposed to. They always said they were looking into it, but I never got a reply. And now, finally, to my fingers, which I know you have great concern for. Thank you for that, by the way. I'll tell you what I told them. I'm not able to do manual work, which in this case means typing or using a mouse for extended periods of time without my hands starting to cramp. I can, however, write for an hour or two at a time. This wasn't a problem in Twitter 1.0 since I was a senior director and my job was mostly to help teams move forward, give them strategic and tactical guidance. But as I told HR, I'm assuming that's the confidential health information you are sharing, I can't work as a hands-on designer for the reasons outlined above. So he took confidential information about this person's health, his physical disability and made it public to blast him on the platform that he bought for 44 billion dollars oh my god this dude is about to be the second highest tax paying in iceland once again after he pays taxes on the awards that he gets from the fucking lawsuit Whoo! that's a motherfucking payday baby Oh, my Lord, dude. Oh, oh, that's so fucked up. Oh, Jesus Christ. But as I told HR, uh, I'm typing this on my phone, by the way. It's easier for because I only need to use one finger. I hope that helps. Let me know if you're going to pay what you owe me. I think you can afford it. And then Elon Musk finally responded. First, he said the reality is that this guy, who is independently wealthy, did no actual work, claimed as his excuse that he had a disability that prevented him from typing, yet was simultaneously tweeting up a storm. Can't say I have a lot of respect for that. Elon Musk turned around today and said, I would like to apologize to Hallie for my misunderstanding of a situation. It was based on things I was told that were untrue or, in some cases, true but not meaningful. He is considering remaining at Twitter. Hmm. Why is he why is Elon Musk forced, I wonder, to keep this person under under employment? Huh. That's crazy. Dude, what? He publicly fired this guy, I thought. And made fun of him. Elon also called him the worst and then deleted. I don't think it's a good idea to shit on former employees in public, says Nakamoto. He's the worst. Sorry. Oh, and then he deleted it. Yeah, Megaphonics is like, uh, no D's on for Elon. Finally comes in clutch for once. Oof. Oof. Anyway, the reality is that this guy is independently well. As someone who has worked directly with I Am Haralder during a turnaround, this is super disappointing to see. Not only is his work ethic next level, his talent and humility are world class. Exactly the kind of person you want on your team when the odds are stacked. I feel there's a certain deep misunderstanding somewhere here in the did no actual work. Based on your comment, I just did a voice video call with Hallie to figure out what's real and what I was told. It's a long story. Better talk to people than communicate via a tweet. Dude, Elon Dick Riders, like, they have been lobotomized. I was going to say he needs to be uh, lobotom... Uh, Elon Dick Riders need to be lobotomized, but, like, they must have already been lobotomized. They just go, this is an awesome. This is awesome all around. Couldn't agree more with that. Have always rooted for Twitter's success. Hope you two get to keep working together again. Wait, what the fuck? Where is it? I can't see that it's a long story. Who is this person? Oh, he's a former U.S. Marine. Fucking blocked me. It's a long story. Types of lawyers. Yeah.
What the fuck? A small API change had massive ramifications. The code stack is extremely brittle for no good reason. We'll ultimately need a complete rewrite. I hope Twitter gets as strong as you, sir. Bro, this is fucking insane. It's nice to see that the world's richest person is sad as hell while I'm sitting here poor just enjoying my noodle bowl. I mean, that is kind of what Twitter is for. Oh, I forgot to mention that I read that you can't go to the toilet on your own either, Elon Musk. I'm sorry to hear about that. I know the feeling. The only difference is I can't do it because of a physical disability, and you're afraid someone you hurt will attack you while you poop. <laughs> oh, I love that, dude. Oh, my God. This guy fucking rolled, Elon. Holy Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck, this guy's great. I'm fucking following him. It's awesome that Elon Musk was so clearly he was so clearly in the wrong that like for anyone who thinks Elon is cruel this is a great example that he shows he's not well there's an aspect of the situation see quote a tweet that he could be considered cruel I will not be addressing oh my god Twitter blue users like using the fucking word limit it's like so gross dude just fucking get the dick out of your every orifice. Holy fuck. Elon only thinks about things he cares about. And because he cares a lot about Twitter succeeding, every component and notable individual on his mind, including the person Elon is discussing, which is why Elon wanted to make a point about them in that although said user is able to run their own businesses and start new ones without fail, they claim they couldn't do any work for Twitter because they couldn't type. Then they spent extensive amount of typing loads to tweets from their own finger, according to themselves. Yeah, we can't. I can't do this. I can't. I, it just. I, this is so fucking stupid. It's like thousands of fucking characters to tell me that you are a pathetic fucking worm. Not. Oh, this was funny too. Yeah. Not only does Elon Musk not have a clue what he's talking about with, with respect to the small API change, but this is exactly what he tried to do at PayPal, claiming that it needed a full uh, version 2 rewrite of the code when it didn't. Instead, it shifted resources away from key areas and eventually got him ousted as CEO. The Elon army is insane. Look at some of the replies here. It's literally a restaurant named after his mother. In other news, I'm opening a restaurant downtown Reykjavik very soon. It's named after my mom. Like many moms, she was the best mom in the world. Kind, funny, and hardworking with a wonderful artist. See you soon, Anna Jana. One day you will. What? I don't see. We will look you up on our next yearly visit. What is this? I don't, I mean, it doesn't seem like these are negative. It's mostly just like positive takes. <sighs> this, this is the most awesome thing I've seen from him though. Every year, tax records in Iceland are made public. I was hoping I'd be the person that paid the highest amount of taxes last year, but I was number two, and I proudly accept that honor to pay back the society that gave a working-class disabled kid free education and health care. That is... I, I love that, man. That is such a respectable thing to fucking put out there. Straight up. 
Without those free institutions, I would not have been able to do any of the things I did later in my life. Society only works if we collectively participate and lift each other up. For some, that's being able to pay higher taxes. For others, it's everyday acts of kindness. For a while, I was on the receiving end of financial disability support from the government. If a few things had gone differently, I would still be getting that support. Being able to pay back into a system is a gift. I love that. fucking love that dude i mean oh god i don't give a fuck if they're like a tech nerd who's like working at uh uh you know twitter or whatever and might have even been a what this is a good take well when they're not defending pedophilia also this is not a good take he said abolish the irs Apparently, Musk is going to owe Halley the rest of his $100 million because when he sold his company to Twitter, he was taking payment and wages. Yeah. By the way, he got that, which ironically is better off that he got it like that, I guess. Or probably not. Stock price is probably still higher than when he originally got the, the payment. But he, like he said, he asked to get paid in wages the actual value rather than um, the actual value rather than like stocks, which, you know, is usually like a, a, a non-taxable form of payment like equity. And, and he got that specifically so he could pay taxes in Iceland. Paying tax in the U.S. doesn't give you the satisfaction at all since most of the money is spent on tremendous military expenses. Um, considering that I pay more taxes than a, a lot of people in this chat, I will say that I enjoy paying taxes regardless uh, because while some of it does go to, like, uh, I don't know, evaporating and eviscerating, like, uh, children in Yemen, which is not great, there's plenty that still goes into social services, keeping the roads running, keeping uh, other kinds of services running. Why are you flexing on us like that? I mean, I talk about it all the time. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because still plenty goes into, uh, plenty of it still goes into uh, services that we take advantage of every day. Admit that you like paying taxes because you like that the government impresses women. That too. Dog, what roads? I mean, it could be worse. It could be. Could it, though? Yes, it could be. It's not like they don't spend zero. They don't. Come on, man. Calm down. It's fascinating that some people think that Musk is somehow gaining credibility in this fight with Halley, who gets characterized as a bitter employee when the reality is that Halley needed a clear statement that Twitter had breached their acquisition contract. Halley isn't a regular at-will employee. He's an acquired founder, and the contract almost certainly guaranteed Halley, Halley's continued employment. Elon is interested in scoring dunks, and sure, the faithful are going to come up with shitty ableist arguments about why Halley should have been fired, including that he wasn't doing work, which almost certainly is bogus. But I would be shocked if an acquired founder's employment contract allowed him to be fired on the frivolous grounds that the rest of us have to deal with and suspect the penalty. penalties for breach of that contract are going to be pretty high. That, he's probably on the do not fire list. And also on top of that, firing him on the basis of his disability is like an insanely large no-no, dude. Like, even in America, okay? Even in America, you got at-will employees, but like, Come on, you have legal recourse. Even if you're like an average everyday Joe. If someone frivolously fires you when you have a disability, you could get restitution, financial restitution for that. You should immediately contact a fucking labor lawyer. Obviously, not many bosses are as stupid as Elon Musk who will literally fucking openly state 
that you are handicapped and therefore can't do your fucking job while you publicly fire them, okay, which makes it super easy. But if you have a disability and your boss fucking fires you, you definitely, even if you aren't in this circumstance, you definitely still have legal recourse. Never forget that. Holy fuck. Oh, uh, by the way, I was, fuck, that's such a good call because I was going to mention that as well. Elon Musk posting an office space meme to mock an employee struggling with a corporate takeover is like so insanely ironic. Like, dog, you know the guy you posted is you, right? Like, the bad guy. Like, w what happened? Like, did you, did you not watch? Did you not understand? Did you watch but not understand? Like, you are the guy in the video that you posted, which you are literally saying you are, but you're the bad guy. That is weird. Anyway, <laughs> no, you don't understand. Firing people because of their disabilities is a common joke in South Africa. I love that. I wonder if Elon could take that to the courts because, yes, while he successfully, while he successfully was able to uh, uh, get away with calling a, a fucking uh, diver in, in Thailand a pedophile in U.S. courts when he was sued for defamation by claiming that pedophile is a South African joke, I don't think you could say that. That also, I think he tried that as well with the, uh, with the fucking uh, uh, commerce uh, court in Delaware where he was like, no, you don't understand. Claiming that I'm going to buy Twitter for four, $44 billion is a very common South African joke. And they were like, no, dog, you're going to have to buy Twitter. It's pretty obvious. Matt Taibbi, no other way to say it now. My former colleagues in mainstream media are spineless, corrupt, amoral fuckwits. This is illegal, unbelievable that mainstream press gives it a pass. Perfectly normal for a federal investigative body to demand the names of reporters interacting with a company. The entire world would be panicking if the president was a Republican, but this is a Democratic administration, so the New York Times will ignore this. What's going on now? What's happening? What is the government doing? The Federal Trade Commission has demanded Twitter Inc. turn over internal communications related to owner Elon Musk and detailed information about the layoffs and other business decisions as a part of the wide-ranging investigation into the company. Fair. Okay. Wait, what do you mean? That's, like, super valid. In 12 letters sent to Twitter and its lawyers since Mr. Musk's October 27 takeover, the FTC also asked the company to identify all journalists granted access to company records and to provide information about the launch of the revamped Twitter Blue subscription service documents show. The FTC is also seeking to pose Mr. Musk in connection with the probe. Okay. What, like Matt Taibbi is now... How far this man has fallen? He went from talking about like Goldman Sachs to being offended that a federal agency is investigating a corporation. That's weird. How the fuck did that happen? Oh, God, I used to be such a fucking big fan of Matt Taibbi. It's so goddamn embarrassing, but so, but I was also a big fucking fan of Glenn Greenwald, too. God damn it, how the fuck did this happen? Oh, my Lord, someone described this to me. I've talked about this before, like, Matt Taibbi and, 
and and Alex Perrine had like a random podcast called the Tarfu Report. Like that's how big of a fucking fan I was. I was a Matt Taibbi stan, motherfucker. I would literally listen to the fucking Tarfu Report. They were so good. And obviously Alex Perrine is still the goat. I mean, he's incredible. Um, and, and, you know, Matt Taibbi went in the direction that he went in. Tesla economics, uh, tweeted Elon, when is the date with AOC? Elon responded, alas, she would never date me. I'm not cool enough. Should Tesla economics set up a date between Elon and AOC? Elon, like AOC's like married. What the fuck is this shit? Like, that's so fucking gross, man. Also, what is this AOC meme? Like, what? you? They're like, oh, yeah, AOC it would be 